Right now on WSA 9 News at 530, thousands of people are asking, how can a man who wants to make incest legal run for Congress in Virginia? Well, since first reporting on Nathan Larson and his shocking views, many of you have reacted pretty passionately online. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Peggy Fox interviewed Larson last week and got some answers today in Leesburg. My interview with Nathan Larson was one of the most disturbing of my career. He told me he wants to make incest legal. Uh, what about sexual relations with your own children? Like, I, I would favor, like, le legalizing incest. So how does a guy like that get on the ballot to run for Congress? He's running as an independent in Virginia's 10th congressional district. All you need are 1,000 signatures. Those are public documents, so I've got some of them right here. And many of them are signatures from people who live here in Leesburg. And one of them is a young mother from this neighborhood. Okay, so you're Cassandra Marroquin? Marroquin, yes. Marroquin. And uh, so you signed this? Yes. Yeah. What do you think now that I tell you who Nathan Larson is? I mean, it's obviously a shock. Um, I had no idea that there was any pedophilia involved when I signed this uh, petition. She doesn't remember much about Larson. She signed the petition back in January. She says she signed it because he said he was a libertarian, which she is. But it's, it's definitely a shock and, you know, had I done my research before signing, there's no way I would have signed in the first place. You regret it? Uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah, you know. There's so many things that you just click accept to and you just run with it. And uh, I think people need to take a little bit more time um, to putting some value towards what they're signing for. The other thing you need to know about Larson is that he's a convicted felon. He spent 18 months behind bars after threatening to kill President Obama. In 2016, Governor McAuliffe restored voting rights for hundreds of felons, including Larson, who was then able to run for state delegate last year. Virginia's GOP chair John Whitbeck blames Democrats for that. Their policy of uh, restoration of felons' rights, blanket restoration of felons' rights, led to him being eligible to run for Congress. And here we are. Former federal prosecutor John Flannery says the bigger problem is a national climate where a man like Nathan Larson publicly advocates breaking the law. Trump has made it his bottom line statement that we don't have to respect the Constitution, we don't have to respect the laws, we don't have to speak the truth. This guy is in all three categories. To be clear, neither the Democrat or Republican Party supports Larson in any way whatsoever. And I'm told that Larson could have run for Congress even without having his voting rights restored. In Leesburg, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.